Performing Arts Collective Alliance, or PACA, building continues to take form after years of renovation to each floor. Fontaine Glenn's live there this morning with more on these renovations and when they will be completed. Good morning, Fontaine. Good morning to you, Dave. Yes, the PACA building along State Street has had many renovations that will benefit Erie artists in the near future when it is completed. Talk more about those renovations is Ken Falkenhagen, Administrator for PACA. Good morning, Ken. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Of course, and I'm happy to be here. And I know there's a lot you showed me yesterday of all those renovations. So tell me a little more about those. Well, for those who don't know what PACA is, PACA is the Performing Arts Collective Alliance, where we own this wonderful historic building downtown, the Meyer Building, built in 1899. And we we rent uh, artist studios uh, to all sorts of artists, artists, entrepreneurs, makers. The idea is that we're a, 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 an entrepreneurial hub, of, an incubator for artists trying to sell their wares and make a living as an artist. And we're in the process now of renovating, uh, depending on how you count them, between four and six new studios up on the fourth floor. Um, those will all be available starting May, uh, start April and May coming up here. Um, and it's an opportunity for photographers, painters, craftsmen of all type to to get their foot in the door and and try to build a business out of their art and I know another renovation was the roof as well. Yeah, last year we put on a, 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 the first phase of our green roof project. Uh, the idea was to build a roof, not only keep the rain from pouring through the ceiling in this 100-year-old building, but to also prepare it for uh, solar panels, uh, a, a walkable green roof with public space. Um, that would be available uh, hopefully soon. We're in the process of raising money for that. Everything costs money, so uh, as a nonprofit, we do everything we can. And happening this weekend, which is exciting, is a show you guys are putting on. Yeah, and of course, PAC is probably best known for its theater up here on the second floor. Uh, this weekend, we open a show called Riverside, Between Riverside and Crazy. Uh, that opens this Friday, runs Fridays and Saturdays for three weekends. A uh, wonderful cast, a multi-ethnic cast, um, a, a, a show that brings up some important social issues as well. So uh, we're excited to be able to do good work and, and provide space for people to do their art. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ken. Yes. And in the next half hour, we'll be talking uh, more about that show. We'll be speaking to one of the actresses and the uh, executive director for it. All right. Ken, Dave, back to you. Oh, man, some exciting things going on. Fontaine, thank you. Talk to you next half hour.